losing streak when they had a come from behind victory over the University of North Dakota. This week, they're finally back in Holt Arena, where they'll welcome Eastern Washington into town for their homecoming game. And they can take a lot from what they learned in last week's game into Saturday. I, who played exceptionally well down the stretch, John Rahim, Peoples out of Rigby, played outstanding, made, uh, made a couple of great stops. And of course, he had the big stop on their quarterback that was his last play of the game. And then to come deep off the bench again, like Ja'Cory Ford did, uh, in relief of Xavier Finney at running back and score not only a, a touchdown early, uh, but a touchdown late uh, on a screen pass, uh, just shows you know the, the width and depth of a good football team was never calculable, especially on the road. One guy that has started to mesh with the rest of the offense is Bengals quarterback Michael Sanders, who struggled early on this season, but is starting to feel more in tune with his receivers. He played better in the second half once he, he got into a flow of it. The, the one thing that we, you can always tell about Michael, and you don't need me to tell you, is that when he's releasing the ball before the receiver has snapped his head, then he's playing quarterback. He's not just throwing. Uh, we call it confirming the throw. When the quarterback has to stare down the receiver and then confirm that he's open, uh, that's not playing quarterback. That's playing some other position. But when you throw the ball as a quarterback well before the receiver has made his final cut, his final break, and has not snapped his head, then you're playing the position, and Michael's playing the position right now. Gelling with the quarterback has also given the rest of the offense the confidence that they can win and even make a comeback like they did against UND. We've always just had an attitude of it doesn't matter what the scoreboard is, what the scoreboard says, what the score is. We know that we have the ability to go out on offense. You know, Tyler and I are both on offense to, to go out and put together drives and score. And so we weren't worried um, about, about being down by a couple touchdowns. I think we just really believed in each other. We knew that we could win. Kickoff is set for 2.35, and they'll have a special halftime presentation where they'll honor former ISU Bengal and current Tampa Bay Buccaneer Evan Smith. Over to baseball.